Hey guys, what's up? It's Togaplays here again, but this time not with Kirby. So I'm just gonna do Pokemon replays, cause I feel more comfortable playing Pokemon for you guys. And yeah, it's what I'm really good at. And yeah, I play a lot of Yu Yu, if you're wondering. And the reason why I'm showing you replays is because it's harder for me to record live battles, cause I need to put the time aside. But, yeah, I can even do these on my phone, share the replay, go on the website, and watch the replay and record that. So, yeah. Well, here you guys go. Here's the start. Let me just put it on normal speed. Let's go. Alright, so first things first. I lead off with my Zatu. reason why I let off with my Zatu is because I thought he was going to lead with the, pil uh, the Pillow Swine. And then he was going to set up Stealth Rocks and all that good stuff. And I was just going to Magic Bounce it back to him. But he went with Slacking. And so, what happened was, I switched right out, right to my Wismacot, and he goes for the Rock Slide that did some damage, and then he switches, and I went for the Toxic, because I knew he had a Go-Goat, and I wasn't going to Leech Seed the Go-Goat, go because it wouldn't work. So, then I switched out right to my Dew Blade, and here's where things get crazy, because this guy is a monster. If you want to know what I have for his EV spread, um... He has 252 HP, 252 attack, and 4 in defense. Plus attack, my special attack. So, and he has an Eviolite. So he's basically power, and he's so hard to kill. He is so hard to kill. He takes so much physical hits. He has no special defense, though. He's kind of class kid in that area. But, yeah, so if this Go-Go tries swinging at me, no, 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 no deal, no deal. He'll just, he'll just lose. So, yeah, so I go out to the Dew Blade, and he goes right back out to his Slacking, and I just hit it with the Iron Head. So what I do is, I switch, because I knew Slacking could probably do massive damage to me, and he knew that I was going to switch, but he went for the Earthquake anyways, he even said in the chat. But then, I bring out the Wismacot, I tried to Toxic it, he switches to Go Goat to eat up the Toxic, because he knew I was going to Toxic. Next thing you know, I use Protect to scout out to see if he's switching or not, and he's just going to go for the EQ. So, yeah. He switches, and he goes out to his Pillow Swine, and he thought I was going out to my Zatu, but I brought out my, um, Rapidash. And I thought my Flare Blitz would do more damage, even though, like, I'm life form and everything, but that's an Eevee like defensive Pillow Swine. So, it just ran me down with Earthquake right after. Then I brought out my Ampharos. And I switched right out because I thought, wait a second, he's got the Earthquake. And he tried using Earthquake and my Zatu stopped that. Then he used Ice Shard on my Zatu. And he started to go for Psy Shock and I forgot that it was defensive. So I switched. That was a really bad play on my part. But out Heat of the Moment, which is my la Milotic, it ate an Ice Shard for me. And yeah, it's a special defensive wall. He switches out the Pillow Swine. And he brought out his Vaporeon. This is where the game gets a little grindy. But he, um, so I hit him with the Dragon Pulse, didn't do a lot of damage. So then I threw a Toxic at him, because I knew he wasn't going to protect. So he Toxics me back, so we're both poisoned. Both of our special defensive walls are poisoned. And, um, so I switch out, and I bring out my Ampharos. And, yeah, he, he knew that was coming, so he went for a Slacking. So then he goes for Giga Impact. Bam, done. My Mega, gone. I was going to set up Agility and wreck it. So then I brought out my defensive wall, which is him, hit him with the toxic because I knew he had to recharge. Then he knew that he basically had to kill her now, but I switched and went out to my unexpected threat. He went for the Giga Impact immune, and he still has to recharge. That was a great play on my part. So I thought about it, and he decided to switch anyways. So I used my Iron Head, killed it. And I just thought, why not just keep this guy in anyways? My unexpected threat, because he destroys. So, tank a wild charge, with literally take like no damage, iron head. Just, the go-goat's dead, because the toxic. And he just got wrecked there. And then, his slacking comes out, tries to earthquake me, I still tank it, because I have so much bulk. And he just has to loaf around again, and he thinks to himself, uh... I could save this thing, I don't want to, because he knows my, my, um, I'd save my dual blade if he saved that thing. So I just went in for the hit. He brings out the magmar, substitutes, I go for the rock slide. And here's the thing. Since this guy, this dual blade, 
has the uh, ability No Guard. I think Rock Slide is much better than Sacred Sword because of that. Because a Rock Slide doesn't have 100 accuracy, but it won't, so it won't hit every time. But the thing is, is that No Guard makes him have maximum accuracy. So, but everything that tries to hit him always hits too. So that's the only downside to it. But yeah, so I run the Rock Slide, and I don't think he saw that coming. So then I switch out though, because I knew that his Magmar would do something crazy, and. What I was thinking was, I have a water type special defensive wall, and what's an overheat to a special defensive Milotic? So I brought it out, and he went for the overheat 12%. He's done. He's switching. And I'm not sure if he decided to switch, did he? Yeah, he switched. And he goes for the swallow. So I decided to scald, obviously. And I didn't get the burn, but then he got burnt after that, obviously. He is a guts swallow. So I used protect. Just so we can take a little bit extra damage and get a little bit of leftovers. Remember that. If they ever have a status and you have leftovers, always protect just for extra health, no matter what. Uh, so then I switch out. And I go out to my defensive wall. He hits me with a facade. But then the rocky helmet happens and then the burn happens. Right after that. And here's the thing. Remember this. Always remember this. If you have a lot of statuses on your team. I have the Scald. And I have two people with Toxic. And I have a Leap Seed. You're going to need a lot of Protect. So what do you think this guy has? I have Iron Head, Shadow Sneak, and Rock Slide. What's the last thing? Protect. I use Protect. Swellow's done. It's over. Now he only has two guys left. His Magmar and his Vaporeon. And so I have the Rock Slide. But I switch out anyways because I know he'll be faster. I've got to heal the moment. And he gets the focus energy, and since he has vital spirit and focus energy, every hit he does is a crit. So he even goes for the crit and overheat, only 19%. What's an overheat to a special defensive Milotic? So I used Dragon Pulse. Only did 16%, and I took the poison damage too. So, yeah, and then he uses that hidden power. And basically, I out-trade him with that um, Scald. The reason why I used Dragon Pulse also because I thought he was going to switch, but I don't think he wanted to. Then he basically almost kills me. I use Scald, or Dragon Pulse. Yeah, I use Dragon Pulse. That was weird. I should have used Scald. He's dead. I'm dead. He's at 1%. So I just bring out my Dewblade. Obviously, Shadow Sneak. This guy's the MVP of the match. He's one of my favorite Pokemon to use in UU, like, ever. Like, I recommend him to everybody. I told you my spread. I told you my moves. Just use it. He's so good. If you want me to do a video on him, just in general, just him anyways, and tell you why he's good, what other th options you could choose, I will tell you. Just tell me in the comments. And so he uses Vaporeon, and he's just being a troll and spams acid armor, so I couldn't get the sweep, because five of his Pokemon were actually knocked out by my Dewblade. <clears throat> but I just basically bring out the Zatu, and I just spam Shadow Ball, and the Toxic's going to end up starting to take him out, as you can see, because the Toxic gets stronger and stronger every time. And he probably had Wish and Protect, but I think he just wanted it to be over. So he used that, and then he uses Scald. I'm dead, and I couldn't bring out my Dual Blade in time for it to die in front of my Dual Blade, so it counts as a sweep. But, yeah. His Vaporeon is done. That was GG. Dual Blade's too good. Best, or one of the best UU Pokemon you could pick. Nobody sees it coming. Nobody knows what it does unless they do exclamation point data, Dual Blade in the chat. And he has such a good move pool. And if you want, instead of Protect, you can run Swords Dance. And instead of Rock Slide, you can run Sacred Sword. And he just runs over teams. Nobody sees it coming. And same thing in Little Cup. Pwn Edge is nasty in Little Cup. But yeah, that's really it. That was my Pokemon battle. Uh, hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe, share so everyone else can see my content. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Toga Plays, and I'm out.